first here again Gary nice one buddy how are you this evening Dean Dean Junior you <laughs> you can have back Julie hello I put your name down twice for some reason Julie it's probably because I forgot you the, the first time round so you went on there twice I felt so bad <laughs> Right, that's a few of you already. Tom's here. Castle's here. Good. Right. All we need is RJS. As soon as RJS is here, we can kick off. Or if someone's choosing for RJS, then we can kick off anyway. Um, let's get the chart up. So there we go. Ali, evening. So first of all, we got the winner from the prelims, which was Dean against RJS that fills in the last first round proper place and then further down the people that didn't get a buy Sophie against Alice ooh sister-in-laws um, Ollie against Gary and Bry against Castle so whoever wins out of that lot will go through to this round and we're going to play this round and this round tonight Bat stacks if possible, obviously. That got you all the way there last time. Simon, evening buddy, who are you against? So Simon was drawn in first round proper. He's against Dave. It's gonna be a toughie. Right, so we've got, um, whoever wins against Dean and RJS will play Gordon. Tom against Daryl. Um, I've texted Daryl just to make sure he's here. Mum against Lloyd, Dave against Simon, Jill against Nick, Iceman against Sally, Julia will play whoever wins between Sophie and Alice. And then the winner of Ollie and Gary will play the winner of Bry and Castle. Jill, hello. Is RJS about yet? Because if he is, we can crack on. Um, While well, we're waiting for him, let's just. Lloyd, evening, buddy. Let's just quickly, we might as well start with a little bit of Gaga, just while we're waiting. Dave, evening. <laughs> yeah, we need some trash talk. Apparently Dean is gonna be cheering for whoever's playing against Castle tonight. That's what I like to hear. So is RGS about, is he? Right, I'll tell you what then, let's start off straight away. So, I think RGS is first. So we come back to Gaga. We know we're going to come back to Gaga. So Dean was drawn first, so he's on bat stacks. We'll play it straight away. Just hopefully we've got it. Yes, we have. So same rules for this round. Five pound, twenty-five spins. So we know the balance is eighty-five pound and four pence. So eighty-five. Point zero four minus reality check. No, I don't want the reality check. Nothing's real. So twenty p and auto twenty five. Can we do twenty five? It looks like we can. Loss limit. We won't worry about that. We won't worry about that. So good luck, everyone. So Dean's off. Ooh, is he going to get bonus on the first go? Oh, mate, we know how lucky he was last week. <laughs> By the way, we're only two days away from race night number two and I can't wait. I'm so pleased we put more races in this time. Looking to help you this time. RGS is a screw. Yep, perfect. Why am I not surprised? Cracking game. It's not looking good. It 
is Bravo picking an overmatic machine? Because they're all or nothing. Oh, okay. Is that the last two? No, they haven't. He gets his stats again, though. I think that's what saved you last time, Tina. Yeah, you've got to. I can't wait. I can't wait for Castle to get on. Because Dean's going to go mental with it. <laughs> They're work colleagues, by the way, if anyone was wondering. And they work here, as promised, in W Meats. So apparently if I show you the cup and advertise them, I'll get some free bacon tomorrow. <laughs> and he's got the bats again, has he? Daryl, evening, bud. You're up soon, buddy. Oh, I think we need a bonus on the last spin, Dean. No. 82.49. Minus 82.49. There's a grand total of £2.55 loss. Minus 2.55. So RGS is up next. 82.49. Minus, and he's gone for unpronounceable. Ian, Ben Bayer left. What? Ben Bayer's left our company? So I'm now in charge, am I? Is that what you mean? <laughs> I, now I now run the company. No, I am in tomorrow, though, definitely. Right, here we go. Trays for bacon. I know it's trays for bacon. So, Daryl, you need to help me out tomorrow, mate. I'm going to get a free packet of bacon if I take some trays down to M&W. So if there's any about, buddy, I'd really appreciate it. Because I can't afford a pack of bacon. Hi, Mum. What? So he's got... Who's in charge now, then, of all the other... Um, of all the other... Uh, Director's taken over, do you know? Right, so 82.49. If you get anywhere above that, RJS, you are through to the next round. Um, you can have a rasher. I'll break it open, mate, and you can have a rasher. Or two. Are we actually going to see? No, you no. That's fine, Gord. No problem. <laughs> Are we actually going to see a bonus on this one? Peace and quiet. Flipping X. I hope my job's okay then. Deal on two, good. Yeah, I'm. I'll be in very early tomorrow, Daryl. I'm going to be in for about half past seven, buddy, because M and W are going to be ready early. <laughs> right, Daryl, you're on, mate. I'll, I'll take your bacon, then I won't have to worry about them boys. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't do that to them. Mighty close. 
think. Oh, so. I think this could be the closest one we've had so far. Minus 79.31. Dino's through. Minus three pounds eighteen. So minus three point one eight. Unlucky RJS. So we now know Dean's playing against Gordon. Right, down the bottom. Next up is Sophie. So hi Darren. Alright, buddy. So uh, Sophie. Tom, because Sophie's um, a very key worker, um, I'm going to let her husband choose. Uh, so Tom will be choosing for Sophie. So if you want to choose your slot, mate, then fire away. Yeah, well done, Dino. And in the meantime, whilst Sophie's choosing, Alice, you can choose yours. If you want them to come up on a list, I can do that. We'll, we'll scroll through. Eastern Emeralds, that's a good, do you know what? Eastern Emeralds is a really good show. I was saying to Castle today, that if anyone chooses Eastern Emeralds, it's such a consistent slot. So we are on. 79.31 minus right off we go so this is Sophie this one does bonus quite a lot this is this is a good choice Yes, exactly. He has been giving <laughs> RTP. <laughs> That's a very good move, actually. If RTP was the one you'd be going for, though, then Iceman, evening, buddy. If RTP was what you were looking for, then Primals would be up there. But Primals chucks out big loads. Um, very infrequently rather than lots of little ones yeah you can do uh, bullies it's 30p but it doesn't matter because there's no advantage you can lose as much as you can win so you can have it so yeah if you want it Not doing too well tonight, Tom. This is the slot that Tara says is always losing. But it's not the case, the bonus does come up quite often. But not tonight, it could be. That could be the biggest loser so far. So minus seven six fifty one seventy six point fifty one is that lost two pound eighty. So punk rocker for Alice. So minus two eighty. And we've got seventy six fifty one left. Seventy six point 51 minus and we're going for a bit of my favourite fish confused with aliens again yeah absolutely <laughs> right punk rocker is a 25p one so it could work it could work either way well, either to your massive advantage if you get a hit but if you don't it will lose very quickly Stop 
a single when it sees we don't want that so 500 I'm gonna have to no I'm not that's fine 25 spins off we go There, that could have been all over. Hi, Marcia. Tara, Tom's being horrible about Targa. She knows. <laughs> Marcia, sorry you couldn't be in this um, comp. It was already uh, decided before you come along. But we will be doing these regularly on a Thursday. So once this one's over, the final of this one's next week. So if you want to be in the next one, um, then by all means you can be. So it's like a little competition. Two people again. You'll see the the table in a minute. I'll, I'll pull the table up so you can have a look, see what's going on. And you're more than welcome to be in the next one. It doesn't cost you anything. It's a freebie. I think that will be Alice through to the next round because this is a good hit. This is about a fiver. Yep. So I think with that one, Alice, you're probably going through. You're up at the moment. Seven spins left. That's £3.50 potential loss. So it could be close. Now things all over. Like a football team being six one up with five minutes to go. Hi Nick. Right, we nearly had a profit. Seventy five forty nine minus seventy five forty nine is it's only a loss of one pound and two p. Well done. So Alice goes against Julie. So next up is Ollie. Does anyone know if Ollie's here? Or can anyone contact him? Because Ollie's next against Gary. Do you want to choose yours at the moment, Gary? Ready for when Ollie's got his. If Ollie doesn't turn up, I think Sally can choose for him. And you can have Fat Rabbit. Oh, of course not. <laughs> I think your brother's taken the mick. Steam Tower on here. Yes, Steamy is on here. Yeah, your mum's there around, Nick. Steamy is here. So, that again, that would be a clever one to pick. So, let's get the, the amount. 75.49 while we're waiting. What we'll do then, Gary, um, as Ollie's not ready, we'll go straight into yours. So, Aloha, we haven't seen the bonus on this one yet. So, auto play, five quid and 25 spins. Hi Ollie. So, if everyone gets their slot in mind, and uh, when we go back to the oh, we got sticky wins. When we go back to it, uh, don't the twenty-five speed ones have an advantage over the twenty p ones? Um, if they win, yes. But if they lose, of course they're going to lose more than the. Um, you know, it, say you've got no hit, Simon. Um, obviously you're going to lose a lot more a lot quicker but if they hit then you're going to win a lot more a lot quicker so I don't think they I, I'm not too worried about it being a massive advantage so it is up to the person you know if, if someone wants to choose a 25p one and the other person wants to choose a 20p one that's that's entirely up to them but 
if one chooses a 25p one, the other one might think, right, I've got to choose a 25p one. So I, I will leave it up to the players to decide. But you are right, I think there is a slight advantage to um, choosing a 25p. Oh, I'll tell you what, it'd be nice to have the maths to work it out how many hits there are against how many losses and to see what that advantage would be. I don't know that there is because it's still, if you're playing this game, you're on two coins. Whereas if you're playing a 25p one, you're on one coin. So I reckon it's it's smaller than 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 a very easy calculation. So Fat Rabbit, okay. So we got Fat Rabbit, which is a 25p one. There's the accountant. Yeah, Tom. There's something for you to work out, mate. Flipping neck over a because they reckon RTPs worked out over about a billion spins. Ah, I thought we were going to have one then. So that works out to a loss of just 20 pence. That's not bad. So minus 0.2. That's not bad at all, 20p. Flipping heck, that's the best one so far. So Ollie's going for a bit of fat rabbit, and we all know if this one bonuses, he's probably going through. Hi, Layla. <laughs> right, fat rabbit. There he is. Oh, why has he disappeared? Because I didn't put double B. <laughs> yeah, okay, Tom. I don't think you used a calculator for that, mate. I think there was a bit of nepotism involved. Oh, that's the word, isn't it? Nepotism. Right. 25. And so we'll do 20 to start with, and then we know we've got to do another 5. I don't know. I think Ollie might. I think Ollie can do it. Oh, well done, Simon. You can have Tom's job as accountant now. <laughs> no, actually, I think you, your job, Simon, I, I reckon if anything goes wrong with the stream, I think you're the man. Made up number, methinks, Tom. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> right. Oh, this could be it. No. Don't forget, we have got five more spins on this. way down at the moment so it does look like there's been no advantage you know the 225p one so far there's been no massive advantage no he's, 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 he's isolating Dave right five more <laughs> he only knew that I think <laughs> a bonus so 72.33 minus 72.33 is £3.16 loss minus 3.16 so oh what's going on no I'll go away. I know. Do a bit of that. 
Simon! <laughs> I've broken it! There, that should do it, shouldn't it? Yeah, good. Minus 102, wouldn't it? So Alice is through, and Gary goes through. So we got Bry against Castle now. So minus 3.16, will it work this time? Yes, it will, good. So Bry, what's your slot? Yeah, exactly, I'd, <laughs> I'd have been feeling that as well. And Castle, what's yours? So whoever chooses first, Bright or Castle. Well, we're waiting, I watched a really good Australian cookery program today. Um, and this Australian chef made a beautiful pavlova. And the Australian crowd were clapping and cheering, which is really unusual, because Aussies normally boomerang. Right, actually we better do it in order because you both answered pretty much at the same time. So Bri's going for Piggy Riches. So, 72.29, 72.29 minus. So Piggy Riches. <laughs> fight, 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 fight. <laughs> You've got to work with him tomorrow, Dino. <laughs> I thought I'd do fill-ins, little jokes here and now. I'm sure you're all really enjoying them. Right. Is it a 20? Yeah, so we'll start off at 20. Play bingo for the first time today. My last 10p. Deposit. 11 numbers after something called two lines line one third. oh nice one right this I must remember this is only 20 spins at the moment come on slots I, I want you both to win because I need the money because we've got quite we've got two rounds tonight and I just <laughs> would have run out of money before we finished I'm sure we won't oh no of course you don't you sit on your yeah listening to music <laughs> Tom's joining in with Dino, Barracking Castle. <laughs> Come on, Piggy, I need you to win. I don't mind if you get a good one either, Castle. I just need some wins now. I can't believe I didn't get any comments on my wonderful joke either. <laughs> piggy, piggy, piggy. Oh, here we go. There's no other story. Viking Mega. Oh, nice one. Yeah, exactly. That's true, Dave. And the fact that he's a butcher as well. <laughs> That's terrible, Tom. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, Bry gets five more spins because that was only 20. Twenty quid, blimey. Right, this one's not going too badly. Is that three? Four. Help me out here guys, is this spin five, is it? Was that spin four or five? 
was only one counting. I'm pretty sure it was four. I'm going to do another one. It made no difference. 69.93. <laughs> right, so minus 69.93. Three is a loss of two pound thirty six. If I did do another spin for Bry, there may be a steward's inquiry. If the difference is irrelevant, then it's irrelevant. So Castle was um, I can't remember what you chose now, Castle. Pardon? Can you say it properly? Jamming jars. So I forgot the minus again. Right, minus. Oh, for goodness sake, why do I keep doing that? Minus 236. Right, so Castle's on jammings. This is a brave choice. Scamming scars. I need this one. I need this one, Castle. Right, we need a big win to get that balance up, but I've got a support cry as well. So 69.93. Minus, here we go. Excuse me a minute. So, razor shot for Lloyd, that's nice and easy. Cool. Oh, you got Monopoly. Nice one. Is that the bonus you're in on the Monopoly one, uh, Nick? Don't watch me see that. All off 10 pp, that's mad. <laughs> that's really good. I just hope this isn't within 20p, because I think I pressed it six times. So if it's within 20p, we're gonna have to have a steward's inquiry. Put some milk on, hun. I'll do a, a coffee. Thanks. Yes, it's cool. Oh, right. So we've got five more spins. One, two. Ooh, are we going to get a buddy system? This is two. Eleven minus sixty-six point one one is oh, it's close. Minus three pound eighty-two. No, it's not close. So well done, Bry. Bry goes through. So we've now got the whole round. So unlucky losers, and we've now got Dean against Gordon. So if Dean would like to choose, and Gordon, I think, has chosen Punk Rocker. So it's Dean against Gordon, Tom against Daryl, Mum against Lloyd. So you're in three goes time, Lloyd. Oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, I needed the win more than you did, Castle. My balance is, um, what is it, it's 20 quid down already. So as soon as we got one up, well played Bry, so Dean, what do you want? Bat stacks again? 
or are you going to go for something different? 66, 11 anyway, let's get that ready. 66, 11, minus. Steamy. Good shout. This could be the first bonus of the night. Right, are you go are you definitely wanting punk rocker gold? Now this is a 30p one. Because it's two lots, isn't it? Or is it one lot? This is difficult. Fifteen lines. Right, we need a steward's inquiry. Someone someone that knows um, odds and I'm, I'm quite sure it will be a 30p one but if anyone thinks it should be 15 um, probably Tom and Simon might know more about the um, maths of this so what do we reckon guys um, most of them were playing on a single. St no, it's got to be 15 because we're playing single stakes. So it is 15. So again, no advantage or disadvantage. Uh, five quid and 25 spins. Yeah, we can work it out. If I, if I get a steward's inquiry and someone comes up and says it should be 30, we can just double it. But I'm pretty safe. Um, I would say that 20p and 30p are both two coin bets, 10p advantage. Right, that's fine. No, exactly. It's still only ever going to be 25 spins, though, Simon. It's not, the five is pretty irrelevant. We're, we're going on the number of spins, so um, rather than the monetary value, so everyone gets 25 spins. Yeah, but if it's five pounds, you see, you could be spinning for ages and ages and ages and never lose it. That's why it has to be spins that we do rather than money. Right, that's it. So 64.26 minus 64.26 is £1.85 loss. So Dean is minus £1.85. 64.11. 64.11 minus. Right, so Gord's going for Punk Rocker. Yeah, you couldn't actually have a competition where everyone had five pounds each, because you know if you won thirty quid, you've still got you. You would always go down to the five pound. You you could never win or lose. It would be impossible to win or lose if everyone just had five pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Right, Gordon, here we go. So you've got a fan in Castle because he wants Dino knocked out. I do like a bit of Poetic Justice Castle and this is getting your own back, mate.
Yeah, I think um, I think what we ought to do as well, ladies and gents, is have a vegetarian only evening. <laughs> Twenty five split is fifteen is a massive disadvantage. Twenty five for example in that case. Right, okay. We'll have to We'll have to factor that in on the next time we do the competition, Simon, and we'll stick to either 25p slots or 20p's rather than mix and match. Because um, this is the first time, I'm I'm more than happy that it's you know just for a bit of fun at the minute. But next time, yes, we we will we will definitely take that into consideration. But thanks for doing the maths. That's that's really cool. I didn't say I was a vegetarian. <laughs> that's quite funny, Gord. <laughs> right, here we go. So fifty-nine eighty-one. So again, the 25p slots, although the maths suggest it's a massive advantage, it's been a disadvantage twice. So that's really interesting. So it's minus £4.30. So yet again, the guy who won the prelims is through to the quarters, which we're playing next week. Well done, Dean. Unlucky Gord. Right, Tom, you're up. So if Tom chooses, and Daryl, if you choose now, buddy, the slot you want so it's ready for when Tom's finished. And let me put the, so 5981. Minus. You can do it though, Tom. If you want Eastern Emeralds, you're more than welcome. Doghouse. Love that slot. And Merlin, that's a great choice. That's a clever choice, actually. I would always go for a play and go machine, I think. So we don't want to do that, and we don't want to do that. Right, 59.81, I think it's going to pay us that win. Let's just have a look. No, it's not. So 20p, and we know we've got to do some manual spins on this one at the end. So you've got five spins at the end of this. So 59.81. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I, to be honest, it's it is one of those things, isn't it? But I think playing goes do tend to be a little bit fairer. They seem to pay out quite consistently, little bits, and then suddenly you get a massive one. But you get the bonus on this one. Twenty p. This can play a hundred quid. Mind you, I've had a 20p Merlin and just paid 400 quid, so. So if Mum and Lloyd tell me what they want next, and I'll get them, so we'll have, we, we won't have any breaks in between. Oh, Tom, it was there. Five more spins. I think this needs to be a bonus, Tom. No. Right, fifty five twenty seven minus fifty five point two seven years. 
Minus four pound fifty four. Goodness me, that wasn't very good. So Daryl is going for Merlin. And there he is. So Lloyd and Mum, we need your machines because I think you're up next. Yes. Oh, I'm just going to play these guys. This won't count. I've got to buy three spins. So five free games. Bear with me two seconds. Let's just get rid of these. So I'm going to have to chain all to the uh, the amount if we win. Okay, so coin value 20p and 25 spins, so we've got to do 5 manually again on this one. Gord, are you there, mate? Because if you are, can you text Mum and let her know that she's up next? Please. And someone let Lloyd know that he's up next. Flipping it. Daryl! I think that's possibly enough. I think you might be through. We've got five more manual spins. Yeah, that's enough. Even with the five manuals. You'll have this one, okay, Mum? Two, three, four, and five. 72 minus 54.72. Just a minus of 70 pence. Well done, Daryl. Minus 0.7. So next week, Daryl will be playing against Dino. So Mum is going for this one as well. Oh, it's 54.92, but not to worry, you're through anyway. 54.92 minus. Right, here we go. 20 spins, and then we'll do five manual. And razor sharp, goodness me. No problem at all, Dean. Yeah, that would be an absolute pleasure, mate. More, more the merrier. If you can give me his numbers, that would be fantastic. So obviously I'm, I'm going to be sending everyone. All the information will be on the Facebook page on Saturday at around 4 o'clock. Um, so I'll send all the horse times out at 4 o'clock. We're going to try and reduce it to 8 minutes rather than 10 minutes because... Dean got bored of me waffling on. <laughs> so many sausage chances. You should have had sausage party. This, this one's getting close to a bonus. Right, five manual. One, two, three, four. And five, that's not very good. Mind you, a little comeback at the end. 52.12. 
so my mum lost two pounds and eighty p. So this is a brave one for Lloyd to go on. Razor sharp. We know this one can drain, but if he gets a hit, perfect. Fifty-one, fifty-two, minus, and we're off. So I think this is a twenty p one. Yes, we can do it. So we're going to have to have five manual at the end. <laughs> I do get dry. I need about 10 cups of coffee. Oh, I've just had a little note from the kitchen that it's ready, so all right, it's ready for me to make. Close one again. Has anyone? No one's had a bonus yet, have they? manual spins. Ali, good evening, how are you? Two, three, four, ooh, what have we got under there? No. Last one, five. Is that enough for a comeback? So it's minus 48.28, minus 48.28 is One, fifty-two. Bear with me two seconds, guys. Fifty-one point fifty-two minus forty-eight twenty-eight minus three pound twenty-four, and I can't remember. Mum goes through minus three point two four. Unlucky Lloyd. So we've now got Dave against Simon. So Dave's slot please, and Simon's slot. Now in Simon, he's got spreadsheets all over the computer and he's working out the best, best way to play this, because I think he did very well in a poker tournament last night. I did pop in and have a look for a little while, Simon, but you were on a break and I had so much to do in the meantime. I saw, there were, I think there was five left. So what are we going for? Koi Princess. A new one. Koi Princess then. An energy. Blimey, we've got two new ones. So Simon's balance at the moment is 4828. 48.28 minus. Second for 280, well done buddy, nice one. I will join it one day. I, I, last week I had Tom's, because Saturdays, were, actually I could, I'll see if I can deposit something in PokerStars tomorrow night. And uh, if you could uh, let me know which one's the best one to join tomorrow. Um, if I've got some room to deposit in my account, then I'll come along, if that's okay. So, good luck Simon. I thought they were wild then. Oh, 
Oh man, I thought you were going to be the first one to give me a bonus. So what's Dave gone? Energy, energies. He's got a big win. Right, at the moment, Ali, we're having, uh, we've got a competition going. Uh, we did try Steam Tower earlier, but the person who chose it, I think, lost. Um, what, what we do, this is, this is our first time, uh, but it's already started this time. You're more than welcome to join us next time. So, Simon, pick one, please. Quiz on the 16th, cool. Yeah, so Ali, we're doing a competition like a knockout. Um, this one started last week, but we, we will be doing them on a Thursday. The final is going to be next Thursday, but the following Thursday, you're more than welcome to, to come along and join in. Right, waiting for Simon's pick. Red, black or orange? Left. Five hits. I've no idea what that is. We'll soon see. So you're actually up at the moment. That looks interesting. So I'm, I'm assuming we want a wild here. Oh, low symbol. But if they're all jacked and that makes a line, that's fine. It did. Oh, that's the worst one, is it? <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> How many spins you got left? Ten. But you are in profit at the moment. It's the first one. Could this be the first one to profit? This could be all over, Dave. I think you're going to need a bonus. And Simon's been doing his homework. And I would imagine that's not the best one either, Simon. Mind you, this is looking okay. That's 12 quid, isn't it? Because it's a double bet. Or is, oh no, it is a single bet, so it's 6 quid. Simon knows his slots by the looks of things. <coughs> and we have a profit. 54.08. We've got a profit of £5.80. Well done. And Dave is Ruins, or whatever it's called. So 5408, 54.08 minus. And a Junes. Ah, a little bit like Gaga. <laughs> no pressure at all. This is just a big fat gaga, isn't it? So 20p and auto. Right, we know we need to do some manual spins at the end. Yeah, five pound out of this. <laughs> it's like a 400 meter start in a 1500 race. Oh, 
told you, this one looks like it's bone in the shine. Plays like Gaga, right. Ah, uh, yes, yes, of course, so you need to eliminate these to get the bonus. So is that it? So Dave has a bonus as well. And a big win. This could go either way then. So we were on spin, we had five normal ones left as it was a countdown. So five. So you've got four left plus the five manual. So nine spins left after this. It's like Gaga's handsome cousin, isn't it? So nine left. One. <laughs> Why me? Two. £2.71 No, doesn't quite do it 2.71 Unlucky Dave So Simon goes through But two winners That's ironic Right, Jill against Nick Choose your weapons They were two good shouts is everyone happy that the spins were right on that one? Because obviously it stopped. But I'm, I'm pretty confident it was on that. I'm going to give it one more, just in case there's a stewards. No, no. So if I was wrong either way, it wouldn't have made any difference. So who have you got up next? Not a slot, never played it before. Yeah, absolutely. That's a good one. I like that. So we've got... Jill and Nick, please. Whoever's first will play first, it doesn't matter. So 56.65. Book of Dead, cool. That's a good slot. There it is. Ones we think you'll like. Again, we're going to have to manually spin the last five. Very good choice. Tiny stretchy lady. Yep, I know exactly the one you mean. Shakira Fortune, Nick. Or is it Fu Da? Fu Eda? Let me know before this finishes. Do the one with the three stretchy ladies, or it's Fu Eda, isn't it? Close to a bonus again. Right, we've got five manual spins. One, two, three, four, last spin. Yep. So, 
I'm going to say, well, for Gaga, nice one, Julie. I was hoping someone was going to pick him. So minus 53.15, 53 53.15. So it's minus £3.50 for Jill. And Nick. Is going. Should come up automatically. Right, we haven't got it, Nick. It's not on this site, unfortunately. So you're going to have to pick another one. Do you want that? Um, what was the one you used to like with the rock music? Two stretchy ladies. Maybe next time, Judy. Thanks for playing. <laughs> no, Gaga's going to do it. There is another stretchy lady one I can show you while you're waiting. This one. So you can have that one if you want. Or I think the other one was called something like Alchemy, wasn't it? Or Al oh, you'll have to remind me. Testament, well done. So, Testament is here. So you can have that one. Hello, half of me, Iceman. Cool. Thank you for getting it ready. Now, while this is loading, we need. Uh, boom, boom. Iceman and Sally. So, Sally needs to get hers ready. Julie and Alice need to get theirs ready. Gary and Brian need to get theirs ready, please. So, we've got 53.15 left. 3.15 minus. Five spins at the end of this. Hello, Haku. Nice start, Nick. Gaga, yeah. Some of these slots don't remember how many spins they've had if they go into the bone, so I've got to keep my arm. Number seven. Bonus, Nick. Well done. So you've got five spins left as well after this. So come on, let's see if there's some bonus. And we've got two blocks out already. This is looking good for the whole stack, Nick. Come on, we've had at least one each time, haven't we? So if that keeps going, let's keep going on the right line. No, I don't stop now. We need this for balance building now, it's going to stop. Right, 
Right, we've got a profit. 5485, so it's minus. Profit of one pound seventy. Nice hit. One point seven zero. So Nick goes through. More bait. So Iceman was Aloha. Second time out tonight. So I need some more bonuses, please. And I don't mind who gets them. So balance 54.85. 54.85. Be nice if these all kept winning now. This one does auto play. So 20p and 5 up. Good luck. 25 spins. Oh, red one needed to be up one there. Sticky win would have been nice there as well, Ice Man. I think we've been trying to get the bonus on this one for about three weeks now. <laughs> we haven't hit it once. This is our nemesis machine. <coughs> I think we got two nemesis, haven't we? What was the other one that never bonuses? There's definitely two or three. <sighs> that was unlucky. Good night, buddy. Yeah, we'll see you on Saturday, mate, for the horse racing. Wild Worlds. That's a good. That's a good one. Yeah. Will the Iceman come in? Ah, that looks like a good hit. That's now put him in profit with eight to go. P down at the moment with four spins left. It looks like a good slot. Still can't get the bonus. So fifty three sixty five minus fifty three point six five is a loss of just one pound twenty. And Sally is Wild Worlds. I better put more than that in because there's about a hundred wilds. There we go, wild world, and there it is. So good luck, Sally. And we've got at the moment 5365, 53.65 minus. It's never bonus. No, nope. we've never hit the bonus on that one. So it's probably a good one for people to bear in mind. Because if it's never bonused, Law of Averages suggest it's going too soon. So no, 25, off we go. Good start on the base game. Wild uh, Aloha, we've not hit the bonus on, on stream yet. Oh, this 
one's draining us, it looks like. Ice man. Just four to go, I think it needs to bonus for a green one here. Yeah, so these go green, now there's possibilities. Yeah, pinks now go wild, which gives us the greens and the pinks. This is looking interesting now. Yeah, blues go wild, this is a good hit. We're gonna get three moves, no we're not. Yeah, I like this one, Dave. This is a great one. I love the bonus in it. Right. Minus 50.6. Oh dear. It's a loss of £3.5p actually. Minus 3.05. So, Iceman goes through. Well done, Iceman. So if Alice get yours ready and we know Julie is going for Raptoons. So he must be on the favourite, yes, there he is. Exactly. Right, it's Gaga time, so this will be five manual spins at the end. Fifty pound and sixty p. Punk rock up, no problem. Right, this looks good for an orange. We just need it, it's not going to build. With all those greens about, it can't miss the greens, surely. Mm, two bars, but we know what reds and greens are like, so I think that's dead now. Yeah, typical Gaga. Tara's going to be over the moon with that, Julie. <laughs> well, let's have a look. I did like that one, Dave. I must admit, that was very Gaga-esque. I like the way it bonused. Right, we know we need that blue one because green will not do anything. Mm, that's a tough choice, Gaff. But, as I said, it hasn't bonus. The law of averages says that it will do. <laughs> We're having a row again. And it's one of the Matthews clan that's caused it. And one, of the, and, and one of the Sherwoods. There's a surprise. Right, 58.59 minus 48. Beg your pardon, 50.60, 50.6 minus 48. 59 is a loss of two pound and a penny. That's not bad for Gaga actually. Minus 2.01. And we're off to Punk Rocker again. I love this slot. Holy of slots, plenty of characters and no storyline. <laughs> there is a storyline. The storyline is how much money can Ian lose over the next 10 years. <laughs> Am 
Right, off we go. I need a bonus, Alice, to be honest. Sorry, Julie, but I need it for the balance. But to be honest, Punk Rocker, if Punk Rocker does it, I will be surprised. I, I haven't had a bonus on this for a while. Yeah, Gaga is the money, it's definitely the storyline. <laughs> To just a pound loss at the moment. Oh, I don't. I'm not so sure about Gaga tonight. After this, I, I fancy a bit of Aztec gold, but it, it may be a bit of both. But I do like the bonus on Aztec. Now, if this hits, it's huge. No. Gargo's looking to be favourite. Six goes left, I'm pretty sure you're going to need to hit the bonus. Wild North is a, that that's that's quite a clever shout actually, Wild North. Right, 44-49, I think you're out, Ali. It's a loss of £4.10. Yep. Unlucky, hope you do better on the horse racing on Saturday. So, Julie goes through. Who will she be playing? This will be interesting. Her other half, or a... Uh, or uh, in-law, uh, father-in-law. So Gary is going for, are you going for Aloha? And if Bry gets his ready, he might go for piggies again. So 44, 49. You're saying well done now, Gary, but you could knock her out the next round or she could knock you out. <laughs> it is. <laughs> right, we need we need a choice from Gary and Bry. Yeah, why not? Right, so hello, ha. So will this be the time that it bonuses? We're on 20p already, that's good. And I might have time to, oh, that was the first time, jamming jars. Wow, that's a brave choice, I like that choice. It's an all or nothing. Right, excuse me a minute, I'm gonna try and do the coffee. I just hope this remembers how many spins are left if it hits the bonus, yes it does, it's a net end. Right, excuse me a minute.
Ooh, I've come back to a big win. What's been happening? So you're, you're in profit with nine left. You're still in profit. No, you're exactly the same as it was when it started. Now, if this is a clappy one, no, not stickies. Could this be one that doesn't win or doesn't lose? If you win 40p, it's exactly the same. Sticky Gary. <laughs> oh! It's actually a profit. 45.69. £1.20 profit, Gary. So, Bry's gone for jamming jars. If this bonus is though, mate, you know you're not going through. So, Bry has got jammings. Is he still there? Yep, there he is. Uh, I'll tell you what, the bonus is a good one as well. The bonus is a good one. Uh, so 20. Right, we'll remember five more to come. So 45.69. Shave the beard. <laughs> I've never played it, but it looks fun. It reminds me of Dave, David Lebowski and Spin Twix, and I wouldn't be surprised if it's based on one of them. It looks more like um, Spin Twix, mine. It is a good bonus. Ah, oh, really? Well, you got the bonus on. Um, Aloha Dave, but it wasn't very good because normally once those you you do need you do need re-triggers in it. It only re-triggers one spin, but it's very valuable that one extra spin. Five manual spins. This could change everything. Last spin. No, nope, that's it. So Gary's going through forty one seventy two minus forty one point seven. Is minus three pound ninety seven. So Gary is in the quarters. So we've got next week on the fourteenth, Dean against Daryl, me mum against Simon Cannings. Nick against the Iceman and Julie against Gary. Could turn out to be a family feud there. So well done everyone and I shall stick that on the Facebook page in a minute or when we finish. Right, and I'm gonna have a quick go on. Let's just get rid of that now because I'm gonna for tonight. But congratulations everyone. Um, I'm gonna have a last £1.72 on this one just to see if it can come up with anything good. And then I'm going to go and play Aztec Gold for a minute. I've seen some really big hits on this one this week on, on um, YouTube. Massive hits. Ah, there is, there is another new game from um, No Limit City. Now let's see if they've got it here. It looks good. So providers... No Limit City. 
<laughs> we'll see. Oh, we got to scroll all the way through. In fact, I wonder if I just do a search on No Limit City, it'll come up. I think it's called Deadwood. I might look for that first. Let's just have a look. Deadwood. Yeah, here it is. We'll have a quick go on this one. And I'll just do a tenor on this. It plays like a bit of punk rocker and a little bit of Dragon Tribe. Uh, let's try 40p one. We're only going to give it a tenor. So you get two badges left and right and you go into a mini feature. So we need a sheriff's badge, all these turn wild then. Or if you get three buffaloes or skulls in two, three and four, you go into the main bonus. And again, this one does play quite nicely if you can get that bonus. There's an extreme bonus and a normal one, but with all of these, it's got to be extreme. Junior's going down. Ah, uh, yeah, right. Come on! No, I don't like this tease though on this one. Deadwood, of course it should have, yes. Right, we'll, we'll do another movie night then, and we'll put this one in. Or we could do like a cowboy night, or a, I don't know, an alien night, or, or whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll have a think about it. Any ideas would be appreciated, just stick them on Facebook. I knew that one was coming because there weren't many wilds, but we've got the gold bars and I think they're the most valuable. This could be over a tenner. Of course we're only playing 40p, aren't we? The bonus is great on this though, because you can get the badges within the bonus, and this one comes because they're all wild. Sausage night. <laughs> yeah, one slot all night long. <laughs> But the aliens we could do, the space wars, there's there's that new one that it, what was it called? Something tunes again. React tunes obviously. There's there's hundreds. There's even some um, uh, there's Mars attacks, so it might be enough for an oh there's plenty for an animal night, yeah definitely. We could do that as well. And we can make the animals into the sausages for Tom. Right, we're going extreme by the way. Hot dog house, yep. Food, we could do food, there's barbecue ones and all sorts. Right, we need those sheriff's badges now. Oh, come on, don't be a... Don't be a zero, man. Oh, this is pathetic. That was fun. Really? No, I'll give it a couple more. A minus X. Come on, you owe us. Mind you, this is new and all the big streamers have been milking this one all week. Tots TV Mega Waves, Razor Shark Win. Nice get a Razor Shark Win actually. I want to go back to me pipe for streaming. Yeah, exactly, Dave. <laughs> the thing is, we all see them, don't we? That's the, that's the weird thing. We all see them online. 
and, and we have had some big ones but they just don't come frequently enough and I think the problem is I tend to watch the um, I'm going to have a few more on this one it owes me we tend to watch the compilations so of course you watch a David Lebowski video it's fantastic to watch because he's very entertaining but you know you might be an hour in between bonuses right this is going to pay 4x anyway so we've got the guns that's what we need in the bonus some of those because the multiplier is unlimited by the way on this one every time you get a character in the middle the uh, like that the value goes up but again in Europe you can buy the bonus and I think that's a massive advantage I think I've got to go and play Razor Shark again Dave's mentioned it, you know what he did for us last week or the week before. It's a no brainer, isn't it? So we'll take this down to 30. We'll do a tenner on Razor Shark because I think we've got some seaweed in, in the scene already on the 20p. to 60 just for that six pounds 60 see if we can get one of our hits on a raise Olympus yes of course lots of wilds and we've got all the bottles they're everywhere this has got to be over at 10 surely See, that's what we need in the bonus when the multiplier is on about 25. Right, I think we'll go 45. We'll go and play the, that seaweed at Razor Shark, then we'll go on to Olympus. And then I do want to play Aztec Gold, I think, the third because we can take to Aztec. We did get the bonus on that one last time as well. ready for Sunday actually if I can get up to a hundred quid I'm gonna stick because I've, I've got to get up a bit earlier for work in the morning and Tara's doing a nice dinner so I don't want to be over late tonight p stakes but I've got I'll, I'll see the seaweed out yeah it's a good slot that one Tom we'll definitely be playing that more in the future wow blimey come on gold coins coins if this goes gold it's going to be insane that's the second best though I suppose flipping neck wow if you choke I think it was Lloyd on this one if you choke if you'd had five more spins Gold coins. 
As soon as these disappear, I'm going to raise this one. So I might just play it down to 40, but I want to raise just in case it's, um, it's in the mood. And then we'll go over to Rise of Olympus. I'll have to get the pipe back out, won't I? Stream it a lot easier. It's gonna work though, buddy. No, let's give it another fiver. Come on, Razor Shark, let's get those bombs. Bombs or seaweed, please. like slots when they hover around the same balance and don't cost anything to play. of Olympus we'll give this one a tenner and then um, Aztec can have 25 but we'll see, we'll see how it's playing if it's playing quite well I'll be happy to carry on for a little while I think we ought to go 40 rather than 20 because it's getting a bit late Zeus as well, really. Zeus. Pick up. No, the only one we needed to hit was that one. The Hades is the man. things. Oh, that would have been nice. I think we'll play until uh, Poseidon's gone. Right, they're going to hit. One more! One more! We'll go down to 20 or until Poseidon's disappeared. Three. And we'll 
will they stay there? Yes, they will for one more at least. Yes, we get it. We're halfway there, chat. Joe Boxers, one hit wonders. Nothing either, so one more. One at 20 just in case, and then let's see if that's checks got any money for us. And we got one more. Let's take gold mega waste. We get the bonus on this, it can be all back to where we started from. Stick at 40p, chaps, because my dinner is nearly ready. And what we can go nearly two hours anyway. bonus on this quite a few times but I've never hit it when there's been a natural 10x or an 8x they've always been ones twos threes and fours before it goes into the bonus but I really do enjoy the bonus on this one pretty much the same as money train sausages <laughs> No, I haven't got sausages, I've got a chili. Promise I'll play that next time. Come on, drop two. Talking of money 
train. I'm gonna have two more goes on this one. There's enough for one more, and then I don't think you've seen money train before. I can't remember, but it's only on this site. And this would be fantastic if we hit this. It's hard bonus, uh, rules one, three, and five, but the potential's huge. Look. Can we play 30s? Yes, we can. Let's go for a few 30s. Oh, again, remind me of the beard and we'll do that one next time as well. Because my, my dinner is literally ready. And this is either going to clear the balance or it's going to give us a huge balance if we get the bonus. But yeah, remind me of Sausage Party and uh, the beard. And we'll definitely play those next time. Or if, if this kicks the balance up, I'm happy to stay around for a little bit longer. I really need to be away by about half eleven at the latest. Clearing the balance though. bonus ones, all the old buy bonus ones. Right, that one, Dave. Oh, hang on a minute. I'll tell you what we'll do. Two seconds. Oh, we might be able to. Let me just have a look. Um, wild Swarm, but it takes literally forever. literally takes forever to get the bonus right I had a little bit more ready for this one because I, I had a nice little win yesterday and Tom saw it it was some um, in fact let's just have a couple more on this um, it's a slot called 300 shields I got it up to the 25x in the bonus and it paid 200 quid. I think it was 171, then straight afterwards, add another 50. So it's just over. Rather than play that one, I can play that another day, but let, let's have a go on Tom's The Beard. See what that's like, we'll give that the last tenner. So what do you want Tom, do you want 300 shields or The Beard?
Right, it's up to you. While you're waiting, I'm going to see if it's got it. Yeah, it has. So choose your weapon. Tell you what, while you're choosing, I'm going to load this one up. And if you choose the other one. Right, okay. Oh! I think this might be a scratch card. We'll have one go. It's a scratch card, mate. So let's shave the beard first. I'll buy one more because you're getting a shave aren't you at the weekend <laughs> this is ridiculous no that'll do <laughs> right 300 shields yeah we had a lovely big win on this yesterday Most of these games are changing from Flash to the new... Uh, oh my god, this is hilarious. <laughs> it's going to be more hilarious when Tom goes for the, uh, the shave. No, it's worth a little go though, mate. I don't mind playing it. It was a bit of fun. It's amused Ali, so... Right, so let's go for... I'll start off at 25 and then we can have a few goes because I think Tara's dishing up any second now. Oh cool, yeah, yeah, when when you when you're ready then. Huh? Is the rice on, is it? Not yet. Yeah, stick it on now. Thank you. No, I enjoyed it as much as you, Tom, so that's fine. <laughs> right, we're after three of these. base game wins on this are terrible but once you get into the bonus you get a chance to go like sword and grail you get a chance to go up to 300 times the bet which you can hit anything and it'll pay a fortune me about this game is that bloody V is upside down. I don't know why it frustrates me. It obviously means something else but it might be N in Roman. So wanted to show you this one. Right you see this here we need we need some more of those shields. We need 2 for 5x, 6 for 25, but 12. Oh no, please don't. Please don't go dead on us. But 300x at the top. So what will happen? Not even to the first level. That was really disappointing. just in case it comes back. I 
that's the problem. Win on it one day, you won't win on it the next. But at least it gives you double your stake just for hitting twos. I, I, I do prefer the ones with the bonuses where you get two scatters and it pays. disappointing after yesterday. I think my money's got stage fright actually. <laughs> Every time I scream I don't win and then I post my wins on, on Facebook. question oh yeah what when I, when I got the shield there if this is the question you mean um, let's get one shield at least come on and then I can tell you what the question was if it was the question this an upside down V is that a or Alpha, no, because Alpha would be Greek, and this is Roman, I would have thought. So anyone know what that symbol means? I remember Malcolm in the middle, but I wasn't a watcher. The boss. Stop shouting. So it wasn't that wasn't the question. So no one knows what an upside down V is. No, it's upside down. So it's not five. I know V is five in Roman numerals, but an upside down one, I, I'm going to have to Google it afterwards. This, this isn't coming back. I think the last fiver has got to be for Gaga. So give us one more play. Yes, it does. Minus five. <laughs> yeah, that would work. <laughs> right. Let's see if Gaga can redeem himself from earlier. He's only got a fiver. And I think the rice is going to be ready in a second, so. Yeah, it might just be an upside down shield. <laughs> I like that answer, that's the simple answer. <laughs> favourite greens. Thanks Gaga. No, I'm still not having it. I, d I don't think it's a five. Hmm. Right, come on. Come on Gaga. 
Let's have some redemption for Judy to get her. Oh no, actually, I think Judy went through, didn't she? So. strikes again. She's in the kitchen. Ten more goes. Is he going to get me to my little bonus here before he dies? <laughs> In Tara's eyes, though, Dave, he can do no wrong even when he rips us of all our balance. Because Tara gets a private go after this with Gaga always. We give him a tenner. And he rips us nearly every time, mate. And she says, never mind. Yes, it could do because we've got the wilds. How can that be forgiven? It just can't be. That's it. Right. Thanks ever so much, guys. I hope you enjoyed the uh, battle. And I'm looking forward to next week, but I'm mostly looking forward to Saturday. So. Private go with Gaga. Yes, exactly. I do worry about it sometimes. She likes the little red one when his tooth comes out. Anyway, it's been a great evening again, and thank you very much for joining me. And I will see you on Saturday for some fun. And we've got two new people who are going to be coming to the stream at least. Lindsay and Alan are going to be here. They've paid in, so hopefully they'll join in with the chat. And it'll be really nice to see them. And I've kept my promise. I'm not going to mention it, but Tom gave me a prize for winning the um, quiz, and I've kept to my word. Right, see you all Saturday. All the best. Bye. <laughs>